When you're a young mom like me, I've only been a mom for like three years. So I still feel like I'm young in the game when it comes to motherhood. But also I feel like I've learned a few things over just a very short time because motherhood does not operate on regular time. Okay, motherhood grows you and stretches you so beyond anything else. It's different. Hey y'all, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a little masking today while also chatting about mom guilt whenever you leave your kids for maybe the first time or the fifth time. And this really came up for me because I'm currently in Mexico on an anniversary trip with my husband, Mark, and we are going to be, well, we are already gone for a full seven days from the babies. We have a total of three kids currently, okay? We have our oldest, Ariana, who is 12. She lives with her mom in New York, and so she's not with us full time. But we have our two youngest, who are Sarai, who is about to be three next month, and Micah, who is about to be one next month. And another one on the way, due this fall, 2022. So listen, we've been busy, okay? But also it's been a lot managing just how life changes when you have kids and how do you not necessarily get back to who you were before but maintain an essence of yourself with being a mom with being a wife and all those things but specifically today I wanted to talk about mom guilt because it's something that I've dealt with a lot and I believe will always be something that's kind of there so it's not a matter of like getting completely rid of it and like living life as if it's not there but really like breaking it down and managing it and being able to trade it for trust and trade it for peace and not be so engulfed in the guilt that you can't even be present in whatever you're doing in that moment say on a vacation with your husband and the kids are away, you know? And so first I want to share with y'all the mask that I'm using today. I'm actually using Honest Beauty today. This is their three-in-one detox mud mask. So when it comes to masking, I love to do a purifying mask or like a mud mask, a clay mask, something that's gonna really pull out all the gunk and junk in my pores to get me really smooth and clean. I feel like when I do talk to moms about just advice or things that they're going through, sometimes it can be easy to get in a mode of just like complaining or, or people try to tell you what you should do and what you shouldn't do as if they've got it all figured out. And that's just not me. You know, like I'm still trying to figure out motherhood every single day. And one of the things that I've really felt called to do is just share the things that I've been learning and that I've been experiencing myself, you know, as a mom. And one of those things is leaving my kids to go do other things and do adult things. I feel like there's so much, you know, to say when it comes to when you become a mom, like a lot of your time, a lot of your effort becomes centered around your kids. And especially if you're a wife as well, it's like sometimes we can neglect our husbands because we're so focused on the babies and rightfully so in the sense of like, you know, a mom being the one who's like, you know, primarily running and, and kind of organizing and, and and really you know taking care of the kids but in our household like mark does a lot of that too like we're very good at not conforming to anyone's you know perspective but more so trying to understand what god says about how we're supposed to run our household and god never says the woman has to cook and has to clean no he don't he he don't operate like that he allows us to have room to decide like i'm supposed to help my husband i'm supposed to respect my husband and how that looks for us depends on how we want it to look and where wherever we are in our lives so especially with life and like you know when your kids are little like my kids are little our life looks different than it will when the kids get bigger and they're actually in school and like we have more of that separation but right now you know Sarai is going to daycare on a regular basis. She goes to like a little um, Christian preschool that I love. 
um and but micah is at home with us all the time and he'll go to his grandmother's house Gigi's house which is where they're they're at now they're staying there for the week while we're gone away you know he'll go there you know every so often but as far as you know most of the time it's me and mark and at least one kid at least one baby and so it can be difficult at times to like really break down okay am i worried about the kid are you worrying about the kid like we're both working we're both entrepreneurs so we don't necessarily have that you know clean cut separated schedule every day a lot of what we do as a family is very together like if i'm going and doing something that's rare in comparison to the times where mark and i will go do stuff together even if it's like meeting up with people or having meetings and, and whatnot like we'll bring each other because we enjoy each other's company but also we really respect and appreciate each other's feedback on things so it's like i always have him to kind of be that extra layer of like observance like if i'm having meetings or if i'm meeting with meeting with people or just like in casual conversations and stuff like he can pick up on things that i might miss or vice versa and so we like to do things together because we're a unit and we really embrace that uh but when it comes to you know mom guilt and like leaving the kids there's definitely a difference between how i handle or manage or even experience that versus how he does because i don't necessarily think that he experiences the same level of guilt that I do when we leave the kids because I say that because he hasn't said it <laughs> like he never says when we go on trips or when we're away from the babies like he never says like I just miss the kids so much like it's usually me <laughs> it's usually me saying you know I miss the babies like it's usually me you know being you know emotional and looking at old photos and videos and things that I took before we left so that I could have something or wanting to call or wanting to see them on FaceTime and things of that nature. And, you know, he's never the one that brings that up because <laughs> first, you know, for some reason he has the ability, even though we really do split parenting like 50 50, like we really do work together in raising our kids. There's still something else that pulls me into this feeling of guilt when I leave them for any span of time like even if it's just a few hours I'm like okay like let me see the kids like and it's like it's not as if I don't want to break listen I be wanting a break okay sometimes I really be needing a moment okay it's like I want to have a moment where it's like I want to be in my house with them but I don't want them to know that I'm there <laughs> so that they can't bother me but like I still want to be in close proximity but and and luckily mark does a good job of like if i tell him like i need a moment especially being pregnant and just like being hormonal at times and just being tired like he does a really good job of giving me that space of saying to the to the kids like hey you know mommy's sleeping even if i'm not sleeping and i'm just like relaxing in the bed like need some alone time like he helps with that and so uh but when it comes to when we actually leave you know it's hard to be away and especially like right now we're in a totally different country than the kids so if something were to happen this is my first point actually guilt always makes you feel like you have more control than you actually do right it guilt is the thing that makes you think well i could have or i should have or let me set this up so that next time this won't happen and and guilt usually is attached to anxiety of some sort too right or shame like guilt usually isn't like a lonesome thing guilt is usually attached to fear as well and so it's like when i leave my kids are they going to be okay and will they be safe and what if they need to go to the hospital what if they trip and fall and what if they you know so many scenarios can be going through your head right as far as like what could happen if you're not there and one thing that has helped me so much is this understanding that god loves my kids just as much as he loves me so if he's gonna make sure that i'm safe and i'm well taken care of every single day of my life 
he's doing the exact same thing for my babies, whether I'm there or not. So recognizing that you do have provision for your children when you're away. You do. You really do. God is always going to watch over them. God is always going to make sure that they're okay. Now, granted, things do happen. Things can happen. And that's the part where you have to do what you can beforehand, prep. But understand that guilt will have you thinking that you could have changed something that happened when it's like actually you have no control over it anyway like things happen in the dark all the time when parents are around when parents are in the other room when you know what i mean like let's be honest about these things like a lot of our own childhood traumas happened when our parents were just in another room or outside and we were in the basement or we were in the other room you know what i mean so it's like that guilt of of not being able to cover your children, not being able to protect your children. Recognize that you're not protecting your children by yourself. You have a companion. You have a father who's watching over them. And even if something happens to them, God is going to make a way for them to be okay. Because especially if you are in a position where there's literally nothing you can do. Like, I listen, if something happened to my kids right now in this moment, it would take me hours, hours, maybe even a day and resources, money to get back to them in an urgent way to even assess the situation going on. And if it was a dire need, if it was a serious situation, I would have to trust that I've left my children in capable hands. And for me, I, I thank God every day that I am supported and and I have a, a family that has the ability to help us and to be available when we need to go somewhere or we, you know, need a break, okay? Um, you know, I have a support system that can be available. And that's the other piece of it is like, you know, to manage some of that guilt is to do the work before you go i'm not just talking about a week before you go on a trip or plan something but how are you developing relationships with other adults that is going to create a sense of trust and a sense of companionship that you feel comfortable leaving your children with them whether it be you know a very very close friend who's also a mom or parents or you know what i mean like friends that are like family or actual family parents grandparents you know what i mean who can actually take care of your kids and you can trust them now granted it still requires you to relinquish some of that control and 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 say okay i'm trusting that if i'm placing my children in the hands of their grandmother or their their aunt and uncle or their godparents or whoever it is that they're going to be well taken care of and I, I'm going to be okay. Now, the other part of the guilt is don't act like it ain't there. It's okay that it's there. I believe that it's natural. I believe that it's natural for us, especially as moms who literally birthed these babies. They came from our bodies to feel a sense of anxiety when we are separated from the heart our hearts walking out on the earth right like they're part of us like my whole heart in a person is it are my kids and so when they're walking away from me and the more distance that there is the more kind of like okay like where are my kids where are my babies you know but that is real and again trusting that God is going to take care of them and that there's also something you're supposed to get from the distance as well. There's, there's a balance that has to be created because sometimes if we're too close to our kids and we're too attached, then it doesn't allow them to grow and it doesn't allow us to grow. Because just because you become a mom or you become a parent, it doesn't mean that you're no longer an individual. It doesn't mean that your job is done growing as a person and now you are only focusing on the kids because your time is up. no you are still growing as a person you mom you're still growing as a person so 
God provides these opportunities of getting away from the kids, having a, a, a day or having a few hours or a few days to detach so you can actually focus on you for a moment and you can actually be back with your oneself and remember who you are and reconnect with who God is calling you to be because we're only stewarding over our children. We we're only raising them for a certain amount of time. And once they become adults, they're no longer part of our like day-to-day -day, like life purpose. They're still our children, right? Like that, that's never going to go away and that's never I'm not being dismissive of that at all. I pray that I'm super involved in my grandkids' lives and all that, but it changes the dynamic of the relationship. But if you're so attached to what the dynamic of your relationship is with your babies when they're babies that you can't grow as they change and as they grow then you're gonna end up getting stuck in a place where they've aged 10 years or 20 years and you're still treating them like they're two you're still treating them like they're 10 and they're 20. and so it's like it's a two-sided relationship of growth and part of that is not holding on to guilt and not sitting in it you know like don't sit in feeling anxious or, or, or guilty for taking time for yourself because that time is not you being selfish think about it you get up every day and you raise these kids every day you put them before your own selfish desires every single day I mean, you feed them every single day. You've wiped diapers, you've bathed, you've taken to school, you've all of the things. And that's not even talking, that's just the physical, you know, needs. We're not even talking about the emotional support and raising and rearing that has to happen with children, right? So like recognizing how much effort, how much energy that takes on a regular basis there's going to be times where you need to be filled up as well and not by just you know frivolous things like shopping or frivolous things like you know going and wilding out and turning up like because that's temporary that's not going to actually sustain you i'm talking about having some time to release having some time to re-engage with God and who he has called you to be as a woman, as a person. And also, if you're married, like re-engaging and reconnecting with your spouse. Like that's what we're doing in this trip is like focusing on each other because the kids do take so much from us on a regular basis. And it's like we don't get to have that intimate time as much as we would like when we're at home. So it's like we actually get to, on trips like this, we get to hang out. We get to enjoy a, a, a kid-free meal or two or three or, you know, however many over a span of days. And it helps us reconnect with why we love each other and why we're doing this thing together. And also it gives us time to reflect on, okay, what are the things that are working in our marriage? And what are the things that we need to work on in our marriage? Because we are the example for our children. We are the example of romantic love. We are the example of agape love. Like what is the kind of environment we're creating as a family that our children are growing up in? And what are we showing them to eventually then for them to go out and give to the world? You know, and, and our goal as parents is that we raise children that are lights. That, you know, when Sarai walks into a room, she is a beacon of light and she brings an energy and essence to the whole room wherever she goes that feels good and that is of God. And so in order to do that, we have to be mindful of how we are stewarding over our own hearts as, as the grown-ups, as the parents, as the husband, as the wife, as the mom, you know? And so taking the time away from them is very fruitful because it's a matter of recognizing that it's not just about me partying and trying to be the person that I used to be before the kids, but actually taking the time to reflect and say, you know what, I need some rest. You know what, I need some, you know, laughs with my husband that aren't kid related, that aren't PG, you know, <laughs> like some adult time, okay? So when it comes to just 
recognizing that the guilt is there also make a decision that the guilt is not going to hold you back the guilt is not going to keep you hostage to what you're not doing because that's what it will do it will hold you in a place of i'm so worried about there that i can't be here and god wants us to live in the present god wants us to feel the fruits of life the gift of life right now and if he's allowed you the opportunity to have a few days away from the kids on a vacation and with your spouse or with your girlfriends or just on your own, take that time. Slow down. Sleep in. Eat what you want to eat instead of whatever the kids got so now you got to get it. <laughs> All right, so I think my, my mud mask is pretty much dried. Y'all know I'm pregnant. I'm like five months pregnant and your skin is a little bit more sensitive while you're pregnant. So I definitely feel this like being activated on my skin. Like it, it wasn't like uncomfortable or anything. And I actually really like this mask because it did what I wanted it to do. Like my face feels really smooth, but it was super creamy and not like, it didn't get like um, really hard and cracked or anything to do what i wanted it to do so that was nice it was a very creamy and like soft and gentle kind of like user experience but still feels like effective okay so initially i was going to do both of these masks but i'm realizing that i really just needed this one so now i'm just going to go through the rest of like my skincare and show y'all what i actually brought for this trip to use on my skin which was my rose hydration toner from fresh i've been using this for years so i'm just i'm just using a tissue like a toilet tissue because i didn't bring no puffs no nothing but i love that this has you know it has real rose petals in it and i needed something to like calm my skin a little bit after that mask so i'm actually gonna also go in because i'm very big into like my pores looking like you know completely cleansed out and smooth because that's one thing you can't really change the size of your pores, but you could definitely help with how much they appear, you know? And so if you want super, super smooth skin, you've gotta be cleansing your pores and closing them regularly. And so I'm also gonna be using this uh, herbivore bak bakuchoyo. It's a, all, it's a retinol alternative serum. Since right now, like I said, I am pregnant, so I have to avoid retinols and like harsh, like chemical exfoliants because my skin is more sensitive right now. So I'm using this because it's a lot more gentle, but still gives really great results. And it's like a jelly kind of cleanser. See that? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I see how it's like a, it's more of a jelly kind of serum, which is nice, especially when I'm in a hot place like Mexico in June uh, to put on my skin and just feel very like refreshed. I'm gonna put it all down here too. Cause why not? That's what you're supposed to do with skincare. Like you go all over. So you can, especially neck. That's where people be looking. So you start aging and your neck be showing the wrinkles and whatnot. We want to, we don't want to avoid it completely, but you know, we want to just look as youthful and healthy as possible. And wrinkles happen with dehydration. So if you are really good at maintaining hydration, first by drinking water, but also by using products that are really hydrating and penetrate your skin barrier, in a real way, which most quality high-end products do. And some like more low-end, um, not, I won't say low-end, but more affordable skincare products. It just, you know, you gotta, you gotta know how to shop, okay? You gotta know how to shop for skincare. I have my eye cream propping this up right now. My camera, my little raggedy tripod. Oh, it stayed, okay, perfect. I also brought my Fenty uh, eye cream. This is Flash Snap. If you are over 30, do not skip eye cream, okay? And honestly, I have a lot of different eye creams. I don't necessarily have a preference on one over the other. I've just used a lot of good ones. And when it comes to eye creams, I just 
make sure that they're super hydrating and gentle at the same time. So this is one of those that's like very effective. And oh, and then last but not least, I'm obsessed with this Kapari uh, face shield. It's like a sunscreen for your face, but y'all, it gives glow, okay? Like a little bit of this goes a long way. And so I've been using this the entire trip as well. And I'm only gonna do literally that much. If you want super glowy, glassy looking skin, with a moisturizer slash sunscreen, this is a great option. Like, do you see that? Do you see the glow already popping? And there is no white cast, so don't worry about that. And it's got hyaluronic acid, so it's gonna be super moisturizing, which is why I think we've got so much glow going on, but yeah. All right, y'all, so that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are feeling mom guilt or just worried about having mom guilt, if you wanna go on a trip and you're just like, but I don't wanna like miss my kids, I feel bad for leaving them, don't, okay? Don't feel bad for leaving your kids. They're going to be better for it. You're going to be better for it. And if you don't have a tribe that supports that, reconsider your tribe because I would not be able to do any of this if it wasn't for my family and friends who support getting away sometimes, who support understanding that growth still happens outside of your kids, okay? And that you need time with your husband alone. You need time to yourself alone. And so I have to shout out Gigi, Mark's mom, <laughs> who's keeping our kids currently and just all the grandmas and the grandpas and the friends, family, everybody out there who has ever taken and carry and cared for kids while their parents have gone off and done what they wanted to do and came like, listen, y'all are the real MVPs because you don't even understand until you are a parent what it means to have people tell you, I will keep your kids, go do what you want to do. Like what it's unmatched okay unmatched all right y'all until next time i will see you in my next video bye